If you're looking to save money in Google Ads, negative keywords are one of the best tools in your toolkit to make that happen. And in today's video, I wanna clear something up and that's negative keyword match types. What I've found as I've been working in Google Ads accounts since 2010 is that a lot of businesses set up their negative keywords incorrectly. And one of the main reasons why this happens is because they don't understand how negative keyword match types actually work. So after today's video, you're gonna be an expert in how negative keyword match types actually work so that you can save money in your account in the future. If we haven't met yet, my name's Scott Redgate. I'm an online marketing coach. And before we dive in, if you want to save even more money in your Google Ads account, make sure to grab my free PPC cost-cutting cheat sheet. You can get it at scottredgate.com slash cheat sheet. I'll leave a link in the description below. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about everyone's favorite topic, and that's negative keyword match types. But no, seriously, there's not a lot of information out there on the internet about negative keyword match types. And I wanted to do this video this week because in a lot of the accounts that I look at, negative keywords are actually set up the wrong way, which is costing businesses like you a ton of money. Uh, and so after today's video, you're gonna be an expert in negative keyword match types, and so you're not gonna make that mistake going forward. So let's kick things off by describing what negative keywords are. Now, these words are directly from Google's support page on the topic, and I'll provide a link in the description below to that. But negative keywords let you exclude search terms from your campaigns and help you focus on only the keywords that matter to your customers. So in layman's terms, negative keywords allow you to play defense. They allow you to prevent yourself from showing for stuff on the Google search page that you do not want to appear for. Now, in the slides today, we're going to be talking about negative keywords from primarily a search campaign setup side. Uh, there are negative keywords on the display side that behave differently, but we're going to focus on the search side in today's video. Now, it's important to know that negative keyword match types behave differently from traditional keyword match types. So I have a whole video on the latest update for how broad phrase and exact match keyword match types operate. And if you wanna learn more about that, make sure to click the link above or click the link in the description to watch that full video. But today we're gonna to talk about negative keyword match types. And you have three types of match types. You've got negative exact, you've got negative phrase, and you've got negative broad. So negative exact match, you can identify that because there's brackets at the beginning and the end of your keyword. With negative phrase, you have the quotation marks at the beginning and the end. And then negative broad, there's nothing at the beginning or end. You just input your keyword with the minus sign at the beginning of it. So let's define what negative exact match is. So your ad won't show if the search contains the exact keyword terms in the same order without extra words, and your ad may still show if the search contains the keyword terms with additional words. If you're like me, you're a visual learner, so let me show you a table of what this actually looks like. So with negative exact match, let's say you input the negative exact match keyword for basketball sneakers in your account. The only search term that you would be preventing yourself from showing is that exactly, basketball sneakers. So you can see here, the term blue basketball sneakers, your ad still would show. The term sneakers for basketball, your ad still would show. Sneakers basketball, it still would show. Basketball shoes, you would still show. The only one that you would not show up for is the exact term, which is basketball sneakers. Now, that's different from negative phrase match, which you can identify a negative phrase match because you've got the minus sign and then you've got the quotation marks at the beginning or the end. With negative phrase match, your ad won't show if the search contains the exact keyword terms in the same order. The search may include additional words, but the ad won't show as long as the keyword terms are included in the search in that same order, all right? So it's different from negative exact match, and here's the example. Let's say you include the negative phrase match uh, for basketball sneakers, okay? If basketball sneakers appears in that order in the uh, search, your ad will not appear. So. For the term blue basketball sneakers, basketball sneakers, those root words are, are in that exact order, so your ad would not show. Basketball sneakers, just like with the exact, would not show. But if it switches up the order, so sneakers for basketball, your ad still could show. Or sneakers basketball, your ad still could show. And lastly, basketball shoes, so shoes is obviously different from sneakers, your ad could still show. 
So let's compare that for the third match type, which is negative broad match. This type is the default for your negative keywords. And with negative broad match uh, keywords, your ad will not show if the search contains all of your negative keyword terms, even if the terms are in a different order. And you'll notice here that you do not have to include brackets or quotation marks. You just in include the word with the minus sign at the beginning of it. Now with the same example here, which is a negative broad match for basketball sneakers, uh, could your ad show for the term blue basketball sneakers? No, it could not because basketball sneakers are included in it. It will not appear for the search basketball sneakers, just like with the other ones. It will not appear for the term sneakers for basketball. And the reason for that is because basketball and sneakers, those words are found inside of this whole search query. And it will not appear for the term sneakers basketball. Again, it can appear in any order, but as long as those words are found somewhere in that search, your ad will not show. Now, it could show for basketball shoes because as we said before, because shoes are different from sneakers, obviously. So in summary, there are three match types that you can use when you're adding negative keywords inside your account. The first one is negative exact match. And with negative exact match, you will only be preventing the search term from triggering your ad if the search term is exactly the negative keyword that you input. And with negative phrase match, your ad won't show if the search contains the exact keyword terms in the same order. There can be additional words at the beginning or at the end, but the root words have to appear. For negative broad match keywords, your ad won't show if the search contains all of your negative keyword terms, even if the terms are in a different order. So if you want to block the most search terms possible, you would use negative broad match. If you want to be a little bit more restrictive, you would use negative phrase match. And if you want to exactly remove a specific search query, you would use negative exact match. Hey, I hope this video was helpful for you in clearing up some of the common misconceptions with negative keyword match types. And if you're looking to see how traditional keyword match types behave, make sure to take a look at the video uh, that I previously filmed, and I'll include a link to that in the description below. And before we sign off, could you do me a huge favor? Could you like this video and subscribe to my channel? That will give me a little momentum in YouTube's algorithm so I can continue to help more and more small businesses like you. Thank you so much. Take care.